to Nox Stronghold? Could Ether be inside? Poking around's not gonna be easy with Tanakh's warriors everywhere. Regala's forces may seem strong now, but... Her machines took out my entire squad. Remember the visions. The old ones didn't choose their fight, but still, they stood firm. They didn't falter. And neither will we. Blood of the Ten. You've come to us. You know who I am? Oh, the warrior with hair like wildfire who defeated Regala's champion at Baron Light. <laughs> yes, you are known to us. I am Decca, chaplain of the Lowland clan. You've come to speak with Chief Hikaro. Not quite. There's, there's something I need here. Anything you need, the Chief will provide. Come. Is that one of the visions you were talking about? Yes. The records of the Ten. I can show you them, if you like. On the way to the Chief. These visions... You said they're the records of the Ten. Who are they? Old ones. ...who fought a heroic battle against machines on this very soil long ago. Their deeds are honored in the visions. <laughs> At least what remains of them. To be remembered and exalted. There used to be more of these visions? Many more. Once this place was filled with light and sound. But over the years, they've fallen into darkness. One by one. That is why chaplains are so important to the tribe. We remember all we can of the visions, etched in our flesh, passed down by word of mouth from generation to generation. One day the whole grove may go dark, but chaplains who come after me will keep the memories alive. Why does Hikaru want to see me? We are at war with Regal. And you've already shown that you can stand against her. I'm not here to fight a war for you. Not for us. With us. But I won't try to persuade you. That is for the Chief. He can be very convincing. What does it mean to be a chaplain here? We who outlast our youth study the visions and share their wisdom with our young. What kind of wisdom? How to be a true warrior? To fight with bravery and unflinching honor. And to know when to call for peace. You can see for yourself when we go inside. All right, let's go see Chief Akaro. He's in his throne room at the far end of the grove. Come, be welcome among the records of the Ten. It's glitched. Incomplete. Joint Tank Force 10 at you. Led by the Lord. These weapons were only the battle. The 10 were dedicated soldiers, working together as a squad and sharing in their duty. And when the time came for battle, they took to the skies and leaped to glory. All Tanakh seek to follow their example. For the chief, it was one of the few things the clans had in common. The chief is inside. Are you ready to see him? I'm ready. Good. Come. It's 
underneath the throne. I will see you soon, Outlander. The savior of Meridian. I am told you held back Regala's forces outside Baron Light. And defeated her champion, Grutta. In single combat. Impressive. I met Fashav there, too. He said you were a great warrior. And a man of honor. His death is a painful loss among many. We will not soon recover from the massacre of our marshals. But if you are here to pledge your service, that could help considerably. I am not here to fight for you. I need something in that basement. Something that will save many lives, yours included. It's not something you can see, but it is there. I have seen it. You have named your price. Now I name mine. With my marshals dead, I need your spear. Help me defeat my enemies, and I will grant you access to the chamber below. I don't have a price. I am not a hired killer. I'm here to save lives, more than you can count. I count the corpses of marshals slain. I count hundreds more to knock them, whose lives hang in the balance. I will fight for them. I will kill anyone who threatens the peace, and you will too, if you want me to open the door to the chamber below. Okay. So by that logic, what's stopping me from killing you right now and taking what I need to save everyone? You could try. You might even succeed. Either way, you must fight. My way might hold off Regala and the slaughter she craves. Fine. What do you need? I need more marshals to keep the tribe together. Such warriors can only be promoted at a trial by combat called the Cool Root. I've sent out a call for the competition. Since Regala seeks to undermine me, she is certain to attack it. She'll want to kill me in front of the assembled clans. So what, you want me to be your bodyguard? No. To defend the Cool Root. But there is more. Knowing Regala will attack, one of the clans have balked at sending their contestants must go north and force Takote, the commander of the Sky Clan, to submit and send his best. Force him to submit? Do whatever is necessary. I can't hold the cool route with two of the three clans in attendance. Marshal Katala will assist you. He was maimed at Baron Light, but he can still be of use. I sent him ahead to the northern village of Stone Crest. Meet him there and he will guide you to the Sky Clan stronghold. If you have any questions about your mission, now is the time. Fashav called Regala your greatest mistake. Why? That is not your concern. Really? I fought against her forces at Baron Light, and I don't even know what her problem is. She was the deadliest of my marshals, the point of my spear. So what happened? Above all, Regala despises the Karja who burned her younger brothers alive. After we turned back the Red Raids and tore down the battlements of Baron Light, she hoped to chase them all the way to Meridian. She could not see the cost of such a war, nor the benefits of peace after the Mad Sun King fell. When I accepted Avad's entreaties, she went mad, called me traitor, challenged me before the marshals. What did you do when Regala challenged you? If you were to not, you would know that such a challenge cannot be refused. It was not easy to subdue her, 
I bear seven scars from that fight. The other marshals wanted me to execute her on the spot, but I found I could not sever the bond between us. Her loyalty had been as boundless as her rage, so I spared her. Rather than mercy, she took it as a humiliation, one she will never be free from. So Regala wants you dead. She does. But that will not be enough. She won't rest until all three clans fall in behind her as she marches on Meridian. Who knows? With machines under her control, perhaps she can raise it to the ground. It's been tried before. So I hear. I'm sorry about Fashav. He seemed like a good man. More than a man. A bridge between Tanakh and Karja. No outlander ever earned our respect as he did. I had hoped he would be my voice in Meridian. That peace with the Karja might become something more. An alliance? An exchange. The Karja have much we lack. Our deeds are written in ink upon our bodies. Our memories die with our flesh. But the Karja never forget. Their deeds are written in book and scroll. You wanted to learn from them? As I learned from Pashav. He will be missed. I'll do what you want and go north to deal with Dakote. But you'd better not forget about our deal. You will have what was promised if you succeed. Speak to Deco on your way out. She will arm you for the road ahead. Hikaro said you have something for me? A weapon to aid your mission. You'll need it for the long road to Stonecrest. Many machines prowl along the way, and our scouts have sighted Regala's rebels in the area. Machines and rebels. Nothing I haven't faced before. Indeed. Head north towards the foothills. Ascend its slopes until your legs burn and the chill air catches in your chest. Then you'll know you're in the Sky Clan's domain. Strike true as the ten, Aloy. If I'm gonna get ether, guess I'll have to play along with Akaro. I better meet up with Marshal Catalo at Stonecrest. It'll be faster if I ride a machine. from the east I see then I've something to share blanketing the land what you've done for my people is known throughout the clan lands east I'd like to help you if I can lending you my eyes and ears nothing happens in this area without me knowing about it in fact I should tell you the further west you go, the deadlier machines become. If you're smart, you'll stop by our hunting grounds south of here. Get some training in before you face a real fight. Thanks for the advice. I'll stop by if I'm in the area. Hello. What's he looking at? Outland. Come and trade. This valley is infested with Regala's rebels. 
The scouts from the village tell us that they've been moving machines through here for days. Some they ride, others they herd along, and some they even strip for parts, especially cannons. Path ahead will not be easy. We should get going. My orders are to guide you to the bulwarks so that you can speak to Dakota. For all the good it'll do. Not so fast. I'm gonna need a little more than that. You were at the embassy. I was. I'm sorry about the other marshals. And their deaths will not go unpunished. <clears throat> You're still healing. I will never heal. But that won't stop me from cracking any skulls that need it. Good thing you're on my side, then. Mm. Why do you think Regala's forces are driving machines through the valley? We've heard similar reports from across the clan lands. The rebels are gathering machines from the wilds, but whatever control they have over them doesn't seem to last. So they herd them into camps. Something else happens there. Something... Something that makes their control permanent. An override with two phases. I... Don't know about that. But it gets worse. We've heard rumors that the Rebels are scouting larger machines. I don't know what kind. Let's hope they don't learn how to override them, too. For all the good it'll do? What's that supposed to mean? The bulwark has stood unyielding since the birth of our clan. Behind it, Tecote believes himself to be invulnerable. If he insists on defying Akaro's orders, an outlander and a maimed marshal aren't gonna change his mind. Your chief seems to think differently. And that is the only reason I am still standing here, talking to you. What makes you so sure Takote won't listen to us? A snake safe in its lair is nothing but its own rattle. Come on, is that all you've got for me? Hikaru said you were from the Sky Clan before becoming a marshal. I need to know what you know. Takote is a petty, vindictive schemer. If he had any guts, he would have gone after Hikaru long ago. But instead, he covets the chieftain from behind the bulwark, biding his time, hoping that his foes will weaken one another. Is that enough for you? For now? So, what's the plan? The bulwark is to the southwest. So undoubtedly, we'll have to cross paths with Regalus troops along the way. We'll either have to fight our way through, or find a way to sneak past unnoticed. Neither will be easy. Never is. <laughs> Let's get this over with. On me. Greetings, champion. How would you convince Dakota to send his challengers? I wouldn't. <sighs> Come on. To knock the respect a blade, and the strength of the fighter who wields it. What good is anyone who lacks that? Well, lucky for us, we're both good fighters, but... Let's hope it won't come to that. Hmm. So this whole valley is the Sky Clan's territory? Yes. The clan has defended it for generations. Against who? The other Tanakh clans. Even the Karja, long ago. If you want a history lesson, talk to the chaplains. When you left the Grove, how did you know I'd agree to help Hikaru? When the chief wants to persuade someone, he succeeds.
Back at Stonecrest, you said the rebels have been moving through here for days. By the time Takoti realizes he's outmatched, this entire valley might be overrun. If not for the sake of the rest of the clan, I would welcome that day. To see his pride ruined. Here it is. The bulwark. Let me know when you are ready, and I will announce us. Dakota waits above. You there! A marshal requests an audience with your clan commander. I didn't know there were any marshals left. We defend the path to the mountain. Where the wings of the ten shall find us. All right, Marshal. I'll send the lift for you. Again. So this was home. A long time ago. Come on. Honor and strength. Well, this is a warm welcome. An outlander and a maimed marshal. A spectacle. Reminds me of where I grew up. I never decided which was worse. When they shunned me, or when they stopped and stared. Right now. <laughs> We're here for Takote. Let us in. Sky Clan's mighty son returns. Bless the Ten. Your chief has demanded an immediate dispatch of all challengers to the Kuru. 
We're here to make sure yours haven't gotten lost on their way to the Grove. I see. The Golem must have dealt our chief a mighty blow. If he's sending you two as messengers. This one defeated Regala's champion, Grutta, at the embassy. She fought honorably. I had the sense to bar our soldiers from that embassy. Just as I have the sense now to keep our challengers here. If they must fight, then they will fight here. Defending our walls. Our clan. That wall won't protect you. Not from the machines Regala controls. They're already at your doorstep. <laughs> and what do you know of the battles that the Bulwark has withstood? The blood shed upon stone. I know it wasn't meant to be used as a coward's shield. You were a great warrior once. That was then. But tell Hakaro, with all due respect, that we will keep our challengers here for as long as we are safe behind the bulwark. I told you, words are useless with his kind. We're gonna have to kill him. It won't be easy with all his men above. Are you even listening? For as long as we are safe behind the bulwark, he said. Wait here. I need to get a closer look at that wall. What? Why? That wall might not be as strong as Dakota thinks it is. I need to get down to the base of it and check it out. Beaten already, Outlander. Oh, just you wait. distance from the wall, in order to scan it properly. Okay, time to scan the wall. <sighs> Just what I thought. There's something metal in there. Oh, that rock is interfering with the scan. To get closer. How? I might be able to climb up on the left side of the wall near that waterfall. scan that tank again. Power core. I'll bet if I blew it up. But how? Well, can't do anything else here. Better go find Katalo. There you are. The guard said you've been scurrying around the wall like a rat. What in the name of the ten have you been up to? Takote said he wouldn't send his challengers as long as they're safe behind the bulwark. Right? Oh, don't remind me. So? We take it down. Did you hit your head on the way down here? I'm serious. There's something from the old world stuck in there, and it has a power cell. I could blow it up if I just penetrate the first layer of rock and Even metal. Even if what you're saying is true, it would take a cannon to do that. You're right. And you said the rebels were stripping them off machines back in the valley. Come on. No. 
I'm not getting dragged further into this madness. Hikaru ordered you to help me. You gonna defy him like that arrogant shit up there? That was an unkind comparison. The rebels might have made camp northeast of here. And then what? The two of us go up against all of them? Pretty much, yeah. Oh, you don't like sense. But you don't like courage. So, um, back there with Dakota, it seemed like there's bad blood between you two. There is. If we make it through this plan of yours, perhaps I'll tell you. I'll hold you to that. We're getting close to where we saw the rebels before. Well, it looks like the rebels just got a lot more firepower. Ready? Move out! Focus on the others. I'll follow you in. Maybe I should see if there's anything I can use to take that thing down. My focus can help. Load up, squad. Soon we must. Stay old work. The Sky Clan will fall. activity now's the time to call it out
something other than fire.
I'm not looking forward to hauling this all the way to the bulwark. Hmm. Here. I may be maimed, but I've still got a strong back. Here it is. But you don't just need a cannon. You need a miracle. Coming right up. Okay. Gotta blast away some rocks so I can expose the power cell. It's working! Isn't this impressive? Two children playing siege. I hope they haven't hurt the Bulwark's feelings. Come now, stop embarrassing yourselves. And leave this poor mountain alone. This is your last chance, Takote. You can still answer Hikaru's call. This is your last chance. You have it backwards. Leave this place, Savage, now. And take this cripple with you. Can't hide behind the wall anymore, Takote. Now you have to join Hikaro. Never. Never. We will... We will rebuild it. Immediately. You are not safe. The Bulwark couldn't protect you from a single cannon. Let alone an army of machines. The only pathway to safety is to unite against Regalo with your chief. You decreed that no challenges would be sent, while the clan remained safe behind the bulwark. So send them now. Unless your word means nothing. Send them. I didn't hear you. Send the challengers. I look forward to seeing the Sky Clan's colors in the arena. Nicely done, Marshal. What's gonna happen to this place? They'll have to live without their wall. But that's better than living apart from the tribe, as pawns in Takota's foolish schemes. If you want to check up on them, talk to Jera, the chaplain of the clan. If anyone needs help up there, she'll know. Yeah, maybe I will. I'll take my leave then. I need to report to Hikaru. I'll see you at the court. Good. We may need another miracle there as well.
this mess lead to the arena. It's another part of the ruins. Turned into a fighting ring. Look at them all. They know a battle is coming. Aloy. It seems you've had to move mountains to bring the Sky Clan to heal. Literally. Catalo helped. Yes. Takote reprimanded for all the clan to see. You both served well. But now the cool route is at hand. Some have come to compete, others to bear witness. They know Regala will come for me. I'll do whatever it takes to hold up my end, as long as you remember yours. So what's the plan? Catalo. There are only two viable ways to attack the arena. Through the throne room you just passed, and by the trail on the north end. We've set up barricades at both. But if Regala means to assault the cool route with machines, she will have to attack by the trail. You will join our defenders there. Hold the line, and I'll have my marshals. Be free of my service and receive your reward. Make whatever preparations you must. Once the cool route begins, you must see it through. I know where I'll be. What about you two? I will be here with the chief, where I belong. Should the fight reach us, we will take the blood owed for our fallen. If it comes to that. The defenses will hold. The grove, the arena, it's all part of the same ancient structure? Yes. Here the land remembers the sacrifice of the Ten. Their deeds commemorated for eternity. Sacrifice? The visions tell us that on the ground below, they gave their lives in a fight against machines. We honored them by holding the cool route where they fell. Let's get this over with. Good. You'll find Decca at the north barricade with the rest of our defenders. Strike true as the ten. I'll see you when this is done. There's armor in that chest. Take it. It might prove useful. Focus on the machines. Take them down, and Regala's forces become no different from our own. Yes, Chaplain. Watch each other's backs. Dismissed. Our soldiers are ready. They will defend the cool route from below. But from above... Not bad. Where did you get it? One of our squads ripped it off a fallen machine. The honor is yours. Regala may have her tricks, but you will show her our teeth. Cool Root is upon us! Our struggle demands new blood! New leaders! Release the quarry! Who 
take down a machine shall be named Martian. Remember the ten. Strike from the air as they did and seize your glory.
This isn't finished! I'll be back with everything I have! And all who stand with Akaro will be run red. At attention. You fought well. Proved yourself against enemies both metal and flesh. I name you all, Marshal. Your first order is to secure the arena from any remaining rebels. Go. I failed. I should have finished with Darla. But now she'll be back with more machines. Stronger than ever. I'll do what I can to help. No, you've done enough. Far more than our bargain called for. When we first met, you spoke of your true mission on which all depends. I wasn't certain if I believed you then. But I believe in you now. So leave me. And get to your task. What will you do? Tend to the wounds. What you need is there. Take it. Your deeds today will be remembered like those of the ten. console. Come on, Aether. Time to go home. Aloy, come here.
The visions throughout the grove are different now. And this one, it, it just appeared. Is this your doing? Visions have changed. That's the one that inspired Chief Hakaro. More testimony of the old ones. Hear now the words that reunited a people. Following the tragic events of the war, Anne Faraday, the chief architect of the reconciliation effort, addressed a nation in need of hope. If we look into the future, the lens of the recent past, our fears loom. Wars waged against machines, scarcity of food and water, storms that drive us from our homes. But true courage means facing those fears with conviction instead of cynicism. Leading the peacekeeping effort with these brave men and women, these marshals of the new Southwest has strengthened my conviction that when we are united, we can overcome any threat. Join me. Join us in that conviction as we strive for a nation and a world without want or war. Reporting for duty, Commander. I'm coming with you. But Hikaru needs you. Because of you, he has new marshals. And a rallying cry the clans cannot ignore. So I will stand with you on your mission. Give whatever is left of my life. It is what I choose. Can I say no to that? Zoe, there's someone who wants to join us. I need you to meet him in the foothills and guide him the rest of the way. Will do, Aloy. Go to the mountains, west of Plainsong. A friend of mine will meet you on the ascent. I'll join you when I can. A friend of yours? Should be interesting. All right, I need to get Ether back to Gaia. Seems like capturing it did something to the other holograms, too. Might be worth checking out. That does look like snow cut. This? Oh, uh, you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And yeah, my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha. They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. Aloy! Erend, you're all better. And you're here. Varl said you might need some help after all, doing uh, complicated things. We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. 
doesn't mean it won't bloom. You should know your Tanakh friend arrived. Katalo. I heard the warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with one eye open. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Uh... Oh, uh... Okay. So the other ones like to dance. Well... Please merge Ether with me. Afterwards, I must discuss an important matter with you. So, what did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Aluthia frequency. Aluthia? That's one of the subfunctions you couldn't detect before. Yes. The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone or something else. You don't think it's actually Aluthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code. A distress signal. A desperate plea for help. Why would Aluthia send a coded transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection. Or at least to create the appearance of the desire to do so. I am also uncertain why Aluthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress signal at all. As far as it is aware, I no longer function. Okay, so... Either Aluthia is in trouble, and sent the message hoping you were out there... ...or someone else is trying to get us to go to these coordinates, pretending to be Aluthia. That is my conclusion as well. Could the Zeniths be sending the transmission? According to the data I reviewed on your focus... The Zeniths recovered the other Gaia root kernel in the Hades Proving Lab. It is feasible they used it to gain access to my internal frequencies. So... Maybe they sent it thinking you'd respond, and reveal your location. Possibly. However, the transmission is highly irregular. If they intended to provoke me into revealing myself, I would expect the communication to be more routine. Right. So maybe it's not them, then. You said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay, and what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that means? I have queried my available databases, but it does not appear to have any significance. Perhaps its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates.
All right. I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erin and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful and... We're coming with you. Fine. Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. <laughs> there she is. You ready to head out? Let's go. Look at us. Three battle-hardened badasses forging into the unknown. This ought to be good. Uh, this distress call had to be up a really steep mountain, huh? takes the keg. Burl, see if there's anything over there? On it. We'll check out the battlefield. Let's start with that zenith. Well, there are obviously more zeniths than we know about. I can't believe you fought one of them. Almost didn't make it. Whatever the rebels did, it took down her shield. But why was she here? I can access her last communication file, but I'll use my focus to scan the battlefield, too. What about that crazy weapon the Zenith had? It looked like she can make it come and go at will. But it's gone now. Yeah. Well, go do your thing. I'll wait here. The Spectre had instructions to... ...assist recovery of the asset. I wonder what this asset is. Osiram with a focus. Looks like he was sending data on the weapons somewhere else. Ah! Ah. The weapon's still hot. I need to know how it worked. But I'll have to check on it once it's cooled off.
Looks like the rebels camped here for a while. Are they watching this area? All right. I think I have an idea what happened here. I better get back to Erend. She who sees the unseen. What did you find out? This was a carefully planned attack. I found camping gear up there. The rebels must have been staking out this place for at least a few days. They were waiting for the Zeniths to show up, all so that they could test that weapon. The Zeniths have a personal shield that makes them invulnerable, but somehow the weapon got rid of it. The Osirum that was operating it was sending data on it somewhere else. It was probably just a prototype. I've known tinkers that do that. I'd do a little trial run before breaking out the real thing. Well, I guess it's still a work in progress, if it blew up. She was searching for something she lost. Her drone had instructions to recover something called the Asset. The asset? Is that the, uh, sub-function thing that you said could be here? The Luthia? I'm not sure. Come on, let's go talk to Varl. That's a long way down. Something tunneled straight down into the mountain. Looks recent. Whatever it was, it must have been powerful. That zenith the rebels killed was looking for something called... The Asset. I don't know what it is, but my guess is it's somewhere down there. All right, so we head down. Erend, stay here and stand watch. That zenith isn't the only one of its kind. I don't want to be caught by surprise if the others show up. Contact us by focus if you see anything. Okay. If any trouble shows up, I'll call you. Let's go. There's some kind of old world ruin down here. You said the Zeniths have their own backup of Gaia, right? Yeah, from the Proving Lab. So maybe they were after Eleuthia. Found its hiding spot, so it sent the distress signal. Maybe. like some kind of data center. I might be able to access the facility systems from that console. I've never seen a transmitter like this before. Looks like it's self-destructed. Zenith Research Lab. It looks like a lot of data was beam cast from here recently. From that device nearby. So Eleuthi is gone? If it was ever here, then probably. But then why were the Zeniths still searching for the asset? Let's keep looking around. another far zenith ruin at least this one doesn't seem to have giant killer machines or anything you can blow up
all this stuff? I wonder what they were doing here. Well, knowing Far Zenith, probably discovering amazing things. Find anything that might tell us what the asset For our is? Own benefit. I don't think so. Some kind of storage room, maybe. Maybe the asset is in here somewhere. If it is, somehow Zenith couldn't find it. Let's look around. So, um, how is Erend taking all of this, really? Well, Gaia, the Zeniths, the Focus, it's a lot. But when I caught up to him in the Daunt and said you needed our help, he dropped everything and turned around. Well, he's loyal. That's for sure. The control console. To access the storage units. Can it tell us if the asset is in one of them? Well, let's find out. and 36 containers in storage. Please enter the container number. Aloy. It's you. Skin's like ice. Must have cut this from her head. But why? Still alive. We need to get her back to. Oh shit, they can fly. Aloy. Aloy, can, can you hear me through this thing? What's going on, Erend? Two of those spectral things just fell out of the sky. One of them is heading down towards you, the other one's waiting up here. We're coming up. Stay in cover until I get there. You got it. Get her to cover in that room. Whatever happens, she stays with us. I'll protect her. I should prepare before the Spectre gets here. I can't let it get through to Voral and the clone.
Here it comes. Okay, Aloy. Yeah, I'm heading up top. Stay down here with the clone for now. Got it. I'll follow once the coast is clear. and deal with that other specter. I just hope Aaron stays in cover. I'm almost there. Just hurry. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I gotta get to Errand. Errand, I'm here. Watch out. That thing's shooting down the center. Stay put. I'll see what I can do. The second you need me, I'm there. Uh, Spectre's not budging from that spot. I might be able to sneak up on it if I stay out of its line of fire.
door. She's... Look, I swear I'm not drunk, but right now I'm seeing double. Long story, but it'll have to wait. She needs a healer, and we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for, then? You two, go on ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. I can figure out how that thing works. Maybe the Zenas won't be so invincible after all. I wonder how much snow is gonna pile up. I need to get the weapon fragment to Gaia to analyze. If we can replicate it, maybe we'll have a way to defeat the Zeniths. I should check on the clown, too. Varl, where's our guest? We're in the maintenance corridor below the control room. Okay. Anybody seen one of my machine strike pieces around? Aloy. Glad you made it back okay. She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. I'll talk to her. Hello? It's, uh, it's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I don't understand. Sudden removal of a neurologically integrated data device. The brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of sensory freefall. Everything real feels unreal, distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's, it's primitive, but I can make it work. Yeah. Booting up. So, uh, Aloy, I suppose you want information. About you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How did they get you? But let's start at the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago? That seems consistent with their behavior, they wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Okay, so... The descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet, and now they want to claim Earth for themselves? Not their descendants. What? Not their descendants, it, it, it's them. The same ones who left Earth a thousand years ago. You didn't know? How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that you are... I'm not like them. I was made. On the way to Earth. On the ship. I spent years studying in my training interface. All so that I could serve my function. Access and control of the terraforming system. But why? What do the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Zeniths want that at all. 
I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. So the Zeniths want to exterminate life on Earth. That's what Gaia and I concluded too. But why? Why kill everyone just to take over? When they took me on missions with them, I saw how they butchered the tribal people we encountered. They didn't seem to care about a rejuvenated Earth, so I concluded that they must want a hard reboot of the system. Then they can redesign it to be exactly what they want. Mass extinction for their own comfort? Who thinks like that? Well, without their Gaia kernel, they'll have a hard time doing that. The Zenus needed Elizabeth's gene print to access Zero Dawn facilities. So they made you. Trained you. And you went along with it? They told me I was born to interface with the Zero Dawn system. When we reached Earth, I pieced together what must have happened to Gaia and her subordinate functions. That's when I started to realize I wasn't meant to fix Gaia. That they must have made me so I could do what their remote extinction signal failed to do. Reboot Earth for their own benefit. So you know about the extinction signal? It was speculation, but the only logical conclusion why Gaia suddenly self-destructed after operating efficiently for centuries. Gaia would have only undertaken such a desperate course of action if it had detected a threat to life on Earth that was more dangerous than ceasing function altogether. I should have realized that she would also order the recreation of Elizabeth Sobek to rebuild her. Yeah, well, surprise. So we're dealing with the same far zenith people who once lived on Earth. What else do you know about them? They were some of the most affluent and powerful people on Earth. They controlled almost every major resource, every industry. Gerard commands them. He's the one who decided to set up a base. The others, Eric, Tilda, Verbena, they resent his authority over them, but in the end, they always do what he says. Eric, he's the one I fought back in the Hades Proving Lab. He enjoys hurting people. Yeah, I know. You mentioned the Zenith set up a base here on Earth. Where is it? Off the coast, I think. Whenever I had to go on missions, I was transported inside of a Spectre drone. I couldn't see anything outside. But I did overhear the Zeniths talking about it once. They were discussing setting up a perimeter energy shield to repel the local fauna. I'm certain they have other security measures. Spectre patrols, machine lures. It, it must be impregnable. What's inside the base? Launch facilities, so they can shuttle back and forth to their ship in orbit. Plus, infrastructure to gather materials and fabricate anything they need. Are there more Zeniths than the ones you met? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I suppose there must be more of them in the base or back on the ship. For all I know, there could be more of them out in space. Other survivors of the colony. You said the Zeniths colony in the Sirius system was destroyed. What happened? All I was ever told was that a natural disaster forced them to leave Sirius. I've speculated that it was an extrasolar object or a cataclysmic seismic event. Or maybe even an abnormally violent coronal mass ejection from Sirius A. The Zeniths never told you any details. They said the only thing that mattered was that they survived. First Earth, a thousand years ago, and then Sirius. Guess they survived old age too. How did you escape the Zeniths? Before the Hades Proving Lab, I never thought I'd get away from them. Even if I were to run, I'd never survive on my own in the wilds. But then I saw you. And I thought that maybe you could help me. So when the Zeniths pinpointed Eleuthia's location in the biomedical research facility, I saw an opportunity. You said you saw an opportunity to escape when you went to capture Eleuthia. What did you do, exactly? Whenever I was taken out on a mission to recover a subordinate function, only one of the Zeniths would go with me. The one the Rebels killed, outside the facility. But Bane is dead? How did they bypass her shield? I'm looking into it. But you were talking about your escape? 
Well, when it was time to use the Zenith's transmitter to send Eleuthia back to base, I also sent the encrypted transmission. Then I distracted Verbena long enough to seal myself in the ectogenic chamber, altering the facility's log so it appeared that there were only 236 containers. And the Gaia root kernel? I told them I could capture Luthia faster if I had it with me, and they... believed me. Well done. You said you were born on the way to Earth. In an artificial womb, I'm guessing? The Zeniths had an ectogenic chamber aboard the ship. An updated version of the one you found me in. They must have used a stored sample of Elizabeth's DNA. I doubt Elizabeth would have let them take her DNA. Do you know how they got it? That wasn't part of the archive I was allowed to access. You said you spent years studying in a training interface. Was this archive you mentioned part of that? But only the parts I was permitted to access. Aristotle and Aspasia, the avatars of the archive, would assign me learning modules and evaluate my progress. Wait, those names? They were designed to be the virtual guides for the Apollo database. Before Ted Farrell purged it. The Zeniths have a copy. So it still exists. And you got to learn from it. Only what was deemed pertinent to the mission. If I requested information outside of my parameters, my tutors would deny it. To have all that knowledge... ...just out of reach... ...must have been frustrating. All right, I think that's enough for now. Do you want to come upstairs, or...? So how long? You know, your, your, your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zenus? How did you know optimal strategy, so? Well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Gaius powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? You don't have Hephaestus already? Gaius is still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single- To a single location, of course not! You didn't even know who the Zeniths really are. You were supposed to be further along by now. Coming here was a mistake. They're gonna find me. They're gonna find this place and take me back. This was all for nothing. They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind. We're never going to beat them. Everything. Everyone. I'm gonna die. Hey. Calm down. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? I have certain knowledge sets. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Geoengineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. Well, see if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad, but I think she regrets coming here. Feeling might be mutual. Hmm. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. I should get the weapon fragment to Gaia. See, we have a new guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah. I also recovered this. The weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield, but it malfunctioned and blew up. If we can recreate the weapon and improve it, maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the zenith. A moment. I will scan it. Complete. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced, comparable to Zenith technology. 
but not how it worked. Did the explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed to purge all data within its core. Ostensibly, this was to prevent the weapon's secrets from falling into enemy hands. Whoever designed this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Silence. Based on your data on him, that is my conclusion as well. And he's not gonna cooperate with us? Well, it was worth a shot. But that's not all. The Zenus got Aluthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. However, our original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Well, I guess I better get back out there. I wish you luck on your search. Right. Thanks, Gaia. So I guess we won't be making use of Silon's weapon. And now there is another clone of Elizabeth here with us. But I can't let it distract me. I still have two more sub-functions to get.